Okay, so after numerous requests of how to build a Babington burner, I am going to show you how to make the burner tip. What we have here is your brass flare cap, commonly bought at a hardware store. We have number 80 micro drill bit, easily obtained off of eBay. This happens to be sold in packages of 20. We have the collet, which will hold a micro drill bit from a Dremel drill. Here's the collet. That is going to hold the drill bit. And let me go ahead and insert that in there. As you can see, it's in the collet. We're going to hold this collet with a chuck from your standard tap set. You're probably going to have to put this in a vise and crank it down just to tighten everything up. There you go. It's in there. So we have a good holder for the micro drill bit. This is going to go into the chuck on the lathe, as I'll soon show you. And we'll go ahead and drill the flare cap. Okay, here's your standard Smithy 3 in 1. And what we're going to do is I get this camera mounted is go ahead and mount our drill bit into the chuck that I showed you earlier. Okay. Put our flare cap into the Chuck, and we're going to tighten it down around the collar of the flare, the base collar. That way, get it nice and round. And we'll go ahead and start this lathe. And we'll be drilling. I go very, very slowly. These 164th inch drill bits do not like to bend. And there you have it. The finished drill through flare cap with a 164th inch hole. That's what we're going to be blowing the air through as the oil is poured over the tip. I will show you that next. Okay, here's our burner stand. Standard two inch piping, T fitting. Looks like a six inch or eight inch uh, standard straight stock and a flange all connected together. The only thing you need to do with this thing is drill your oil introduction hole right up here at the top. It's an eighth inch uh, threaded hole. That's where you're going to thread in your oil feed. That's pretty easy to make. The more tricky thing to do is going to be the flare cap, uh, air introduction, the air port. Uh, what you have is a standard quick connect for an air hose. I have a valve here 
needle valve to regulate the air. I don't really regulate it, it's just on or off, on or off. And uh, a number of uh, fittings here to get the flare cap on there. Some of it's braised, some of it's threaded, some of it has a reducers. Uh, the trick thing here is you want to put this uh, plug which will thread into the T so that uh, all of this fits together nicely. You're going to drill, looks like a half inch hole in through there, put all this together, then I braise it together so this is not going to come off. If I had to disassemble this I would have to uh, unsolder all this. And what you want to do is put this uh, lock down. You're going to drill a hole and thread it. You're going to lock it down. So what this does is it allow you to lock down the position of the burner head through here. So I'll go ahead and assemble it all. Don't mind the phone. So once you tighten this down, you have a little bit of play here for the head to go in and out. See that? And I'm not sure you could see this, but you could see you can adjust where the oil drops on top of that head. So once that's locked down, uh, well, you could adjust it to get your optimum oil spreading over the, the cone or the cap. And on the top here, this is just a little get up I made to introduce the oil. You could do it in infinite and di different ways, but if this works for me. You could uh, you could you could uh, thread in a uh, oil supply line into there, not have to deal with this. But this is how I'm doing it. So this this doohickey threads onto here, and that's that. That is the oil burner. And the only thing missing from this is the burner tube, which threads onto here, extends your flame, um, allows your flame to stay ignited. You can get red hot temperatures within that tube. That's something that uh, each and every person who makes one of these things has a different idea um, to make. So that is your Babington burner as basic as it gets. Okay, here's the burner setup. I have it inside a uh, oil basin to catch all the oil. So the oil comes down through here to the valve. And I will show you how the oil flows over the cap. You can see that. I'm going to crack open the air valve here. Without igniting, you'll see the oil. We'll go ahead and uh, ignite it. Very simple. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is put our flame tube on. Go. 